Okay, folks, so a couple months back I did a review on this MyPin 192 kilohertz DAC Bluetooth receiver, and I liked it. I liked the way it sounded. I thought it was a very fun unit to listen to. It has uh, some decent mids and highs to it. I don't think they're over-exaggerated. I think they're just a, a possibly a hair bright, and I like that. It's kind of fun to listen to once in a while. The, sometimes the audio file dullness is, uh, is, gets kind of boring to listen to. What I really thought was cool about this is it has a little bit of extended low frequencies to it. Not crazy, not like bass head style or anything like that, but I think it's fun to listen to. And so uh, decent sounding mids and highs, a little bit more extended low end, and this excellent output here um, uh, for uh, analog uh, RCA output is great. It bumps it up above the normal standard uh, one and a half volts to two volts in that range. Uh, I'm going to assume this is closer to almost probably a three volt output. So it's going to drive a lot of your AV receivers and um, vintage receivers uh, a little bit better, in my opinion. I think it's very fun to listen to. Um, the problem with this piece of gear is that it, it induces... Now, with, this is only when you're Bluetooth Bluetoothing. So when you're going from your phone, tablet, or laptop and you're going from track to track, like say you're skipping from track 2 to 5 or 2 to 7 or 2 to 4, you'll hear digital noise between the tracks, just a little faint digital noise. It's not too bad on the RCA output side of it, okay? Um, but where it really, to me, is annoying is when you're using the headphone jack. It is a little bit annoying. And so I thought, you know, it's only a $25 piece of gear, I'm not going to, I don't really care. It's no big deal. But I thought, you know what? Wait a minute. I already did a video on this. I've already told folks uh, that little digital noise characteristic it has. So what I did is I decided to get a hold of Amazon. Unfortunately, I was I went beyond their return window. And then they hooked me up directly with my pin. My pin asked me all the normal questions. You know, have you tried a different AC adapter? Have you tried different cables? And I said yes to all, except, however, it doesn't have anything to do with optical input or coaxial input in fact this is just a great unit uh to like maybe tie your tv or uh, satellite dish receiver to your stereo this is a great little handshake a great little dac and i love that sound um but the problem is is when you're using bluetooth anyway so they sent me another one they were very nice to send me another one and I was really excited when I unboxed this thing. I'm like, oh man, cool. Hopefully I just had a defective product. Well, I don't have I did not have a defective product. It is, in my opinion, a slight design flaw, something that could probably be fixed and upgraded. So that's kind of why I'm doing this video. I'm not slamming my pin because I think it's a really neat and handy little device. I've got an, a lot of enjoyment out of this thing. And um I think that they just need to go back and fix the issue, whether it's a chipset issue or maybe it's a Bluetooth issue um, with the Bluetooth receiver that they're implanting in this uh, board or whatever. I think that that could be taken care of. And I don't, I mean, raise it up 10 bucks. It sounds great. This blew the Prozor away. I did a review on the Prozor. And I think the Prozor was almost twice as much of the, as this unit. And this thing blows the Prozor to shreds. I really like this unit. I think they're almost there. They just need to just give it that little tweak to get rid of that noise. All right, well, listen, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I could sure use the support. I'll leave a link to this unit down below in the description box. I really actually... I uh, think this would be a great unit to put in a mobile audio installation because of this extra preamp output signal that we're going to get. And I also think if you guys want a low-cost alternative to um, add some high fidelity to your home stereo via through, you know, through your TV or satellite dish receiver or whatever, I think this is a great unit to, to get that job done. So anyway, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys have not already subscribed, please... Uh, Please think about subscribing to this channel. I, I really appreciate your support. So thanks for watching, y'all. And tell me what you guys think of the MyPin. If you guys have one, let me know uh, if it's doing the same thing for you. I'll leave some links to the old videos down below. So, um, And I think that second video, I actually have recorded that noise. So you can hear what that sounds like. And uh, y'all have a good one.